Hi guys, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. Today we're doing a bit of at-home practice because I know I would say most of you have a tennis racket at hand. And now it's not always going to be convenient to take it to the golf course or the practice range, but you can practice um, using a tennis racket at home. Now I've got a few drills, a few lessons talking about tennis because tennis was my first sport and there is some good correlation, there's some good lessons to learn from it. And it, it definitely enabled me to have the natural sort of instincts for certain aspects of golf. Not all of them, mind you, but some of them. Um, so if you've got a kid's racket at home, uh, a tennis racket or a ping pong bat, whatever it might be, go and grab it now and I'll see you back here shortly. So have you got your racket yet? I hope you have. I'm not gonna wait any longer. You can always pause. So what's this about? It's about the release. It's about giving you a natural release because so many people, myself included, it happens sometimes, are getting a bit too focused on positions, on hitting at the ball, when really the ball is just getting in the way of a reaction to the target. That's what we want more so. We wanna pick our target and respond reactively and naturally as much as possible to that. Yes, the swing needs to have mechanics. Yes, it needs to have certain transitional points, but we don't want it to be complicated to think breaking it down to position one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do not want that. We want maybe one or two swing thoughts. So this is more about the release. As far as the backswing goes, let's just say for argument's sake, all I want you to do on this backswing thought for this kind of drill. I want you to feel like you've just got your left shoulder going down. That's all I want you to feel because from there, all that's gonna happen is the arms are gonna flow just to wherever they need to be. And we're gonna be re relatively loaded in a, a nice wider, comfortable position just with that left shoulder going down and we're swinging through, okay? So just that, if you need a backswing thought, that's what we're gonna have. Now this is about having freedom in the release. We don't want to be, yes, we want shaft lean. Yes, we want extension. We need all of that. We want to try and get into that position here where we've got release and freedom through it. But too many people will swing like this or too slowly or whatever it might be because their fastest point is somewhere here where they're casting it this way. So we're casting and then sort of pushing it through like that. These are not ideal golf swings because they're not going to give you the accuracy the consistency and the beautiful speed that you're all sort of chasing. But if we have more release with the natural, the way we're built, the way we have arms, limbs, whatever it might be, and using the weight and inertia of a golf club to release us through whilst being connected with the body, that is gold. And it's so easy to do. So that's why I want you to grab a tennis racket. But the feeling we want is this release where we're having extension and we're wrapping round. But a lot of people, they might think that they need to push with the right hand a little bit too much. Because let's say you're right-handed, or you're playing golf right-handed, you will be, for the most part, <coughs> I wager that you're gonna be right side don dominant, dominant, dominant. And what that's gonna do is create a sort of casting action here and sort of hitting at the ball and staying stuck in that respect. Okay, so how do we reverse that? We want to feel like we've got more of a lead side golf swing where we're pulling, okay, we're pulling, but we're bracing and we're using the back of the hand to release that club through. Now, a wonderful drill, uh, if you're feeling confident, is to hit golf balls just with your left hand only. However, that does take a little bit of practice, okay, and it is quite difficult to do for many of you. So you can practice that, but before you even do that, I want you to feel with a tennis racket. Just take it like you would your normal grip, okay? And we're making a backswing here, left shoulder down, and then we're releasing through. And what's releasing, I'm feeling like my back of the hand, as I come to you this way, the back of the hand is striking there, but I'm releasing through. It's not just stopping here. It's not just stopping here. I'm feeling that freedom all the way through as far as I can see about where I want that ball to go. That natural freedom and release, okay? So we can do it two hands, 
there. And that sensation is very eye-opening. Even to myself right there, I can feel that wonderful, you know, not just uh, transfer, but that release, but that turning of the club face. So I'm imagining this is the club face. There's control there. There's control, but now I have freedom. Now I have release all the way through. And it is just done by that. So we, notice how I'm not just doing the tennis racket. I'm not staying flat on my feet. I'm still extending all the way through to a full finish in that manner. So I do that with the same sensation. Let's just try and hit off this silly little mat here. My other one broke. So it's a bit annoying, but here we are. So I'm just gonna have the same sensation, okay? All the way through. That's all it was. The only thing I thought about was left shoulder down and then having that backhand this way, a left-handed backhand extending through and wrapping round. But I'm not focused on that, it does that naturally. So here's how you're gonna practice. Whether you can hit shots at home or not, Whatever it is, I want you to pick up the club. I want you to do some with the racket. Slowly at first, just feel that release. You can see where it's going, stay connected. Everything working in unison, but to a nice full finish with freedom. There, okay, beautiful. Now I want the same. So I'm gonna swing back with freedom. Wonderful. I'm happy with that. That feels good. That feels like I release that way. It feels like I could commit to my intermediate point, my strategy, and just let go without thinking about positions, without trying to hit at it. So get your tennis racket, feel that backhand release through the ball here. So it, yes, we're stopping there, but we make sure that we're coming to a full, complete balanced finish. Do that, your swing will have more flow, it will have better tempo, and you will make more consistent strikes and have a prettier looking golf swing, which even if you hit the ball all over the shop, it's not bad to have a nice little pretty golf swing, is it? So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave them below. And um, you know, if you want any other follow-up videos to this, or you know, if you can find the other drills with a tennis racket, that's gonna really help you too. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe to the channel. And also, before I forget, follow the link below because that's gonna give you a lesson series that will transform your game. It's gonna give you the focus, the swing method, and the tactics to use to at least slash five shots off your score the very next time you play, okay? So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.